uh, hotel, uh, first uh, it was a, a governor's house, it's like a residence. So Sri Lankan's uh, fifth governor's uh, house uh, was this place, the first building. Yes. So it was a seven bedroom building and uh, he built this 1829. You're about to see a gallery of famous guests. That's quite common in grand hotels. And uh, there's 11 of them that I don't know. So I've numbered each of the 11. If you know any of the 11, please leave a message to identify them. Ceylon Tea Company, Planters Association, Candy Ceylon, 1854. I wasn't even born then. Finally, this photograph fits in the proper context, for here I am taking a tea at the Grand Hotel in Nawara Elia. That was a feel-good moment, I must say. And speaking of photos, this is one I should have put in, in the last uh, vlog on Ramboda Falls. I don't have that many photos of myself, so I might as well put it in there. You're viewing Travels with Lobo, a three-week discovery tour of Sri Lanka. Thank you for joining me. Vlog number 23. In this vlog, I discover one of the colonial jewels of Nuwara Elia in the Grand Hotel. Among other things, I make a comparison with the Empress Hotel in my neighborhood. I take you through a gallery of famous guests. I give you the history of the hotel and my fascination with tea. Scrub through the timeline to any topic that might interest you. Or, thanks for viewing. There it is. Grand Hotel, established 1891. Located in Nuwara Elia. Means New England. And it was the British that built this establishment, I believe, was a residence of the British governor at the time. Established in 1891, that puts it squarely within the time period of the British Empire in Ceylon, which lasted from 1815 to 1948. By the way, that name Ceylon lasted until 1972 when it was changed to Sri Lanka. And the hotel would have been a super place for the British aristocracy and whoever else to... Sort of chill. The Tamil workers doing the gardening work. I say Tamil because the Tamils do all the hard work around here. And notice how the flower beds are shaded. Hi. At this particular point in their life. Uh, speaking about Tamil workers, the Tamil workers were introduced into Ceylon to do the hard work on the tea plantations right here in this area. And remember, a tea was introduced by James Taylor in 1867 after the fungus killed off the profitable coffee industry. What a story. The Grand Hotel, welcoming people from all over the world. Entry to the Grand Hotel. No security. Right down here. Reminds me of the Empress Hotel in Victoria, British Columbia, my hometown. And here's a photo of the uh, Empress Hotel in Victoria, British Columbia that I took on last evening's uh, walk, which I do almost every night. And uh, it's always beautiful, no matter how often I see it. The Empress is part of the amazing chain of railway hotels built by the Canadian Pacific Railway across Canada. The Tamil workers brought in from India. High tea, just like the Empress Hotel at the Grand Indian. It would have been really unfortunate if I had not come here to look at this hotel. <laughs> look at this, I'll call it. Well, it's a piano lounge, drawing room. Wouldn't you like to sit here and smoke a cigar as they used to do, but not anymore. They make a big deal out of uh, gold and jewelry in this part of the world. And they even have a jewelry shop right in the hotel. Not unusual, really, considering the clientele. You're about to see a gallery of famous guests. That's quite common in grand hotels. And uh, there's 11 of them that I don't know. So I've numbered each of the 11. If you know any of the 11, please leave a message to identify them. And the last time I did that was in a hotel in Cuba. And I'll leave a link to that at the end of this vlog. I like to play this game. Uh, I'll identify the people I know and then viewers, if you would like, please fill me in. Okay, up there is Queen Elizabeth, uh, Prince Philip, no say, no say Spanish for I don't know. 
Gandhi. On the left, Mahatma Gandhi, the father of India's independence. On the right, Jawaharlal Nehru, the first prime minister of India, said that the relationship between Gandhi and Nehru was like Guru and Shishaya. In the middle, Indira Gandhi, the daughter of Jawaharlal Nehru, and she was the first female prime minister of India. And they were all here at the hotel. No idea who this is. This guy looks a bit like Pierre Trudeau. I don't know who he is. Don't know who that is. This looks like a Japanese emperor, but I don't know which one. This looks like, well, that, that is Lord, Lord Mountbatten. And uh, this lady here, I don't know. Please help me identify these people. There's more over here. I mean, I'd say it looks like Tito for you, from Yugoslavia. Uh, no idea who that is. Don't know the guy with the mustache. Hey, Richard Nixon stayed here. Richard Nixon stayed here. Wow. Don't know who that is. <laughs> that is... That, of course, is Roger Moore, my favorite James Bond. James Bond, what was his name? Uh, I forgot. This guy... Looks like a comedian of some sort. Uh, military person, looks Russian. Looks Russian. That, of course, is Yuri Gargarin. I hope I pronounced that right. The first man to orbit the Earth. And uh, I should know her. That's from Star Wars. I don't know her name. She died recently. Uh, Fisher, Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher. There's one last one out here. I don't know who that is. The hotel I was fortunate enough to come upon. What is your, your name? My name is Anu. I'm the lobby manager. Oh, you're the lobby manager. Yes, yes. Uh, so, Can you uh, tell us a little bit about the history of this yes. fantastic... So uh, this uh, hotel, uh, first uh, it was a, a governor's house, it's like a residence. So Sri Lankan's uh, fifth governor's uh, house uh, was this place, the first building. Yes. So uh, it was a seven bedroom building and uh, he built this 1829. Then yes. uh, he went back to United Kingdom in the middle of 1830s so he wanted to come back but uh, with uh, his uh, sickness and all he couldn't the fifth governor of ceylon would have been sir edward barnes he fell in love with the area eventually converting it to a charming misty mountain village in a model of a british village hence the name nuora elia new england in uh, 1828 uh, he started building his holiday home here in Nuwara Elian called it Barnes Hall. Of course, it looked nothing like the present hotel, but eventually it ended up looking like the hotel. Speaking of gone, Barnes left for England in 1831 and never came back, somewhat tragically. Then after that, uh, Nuwara Elian Hotel Corporation took over this place and they converted as a hotel in uh, 1891. So since then, uh, we are running as a hotel. So. Uh, we have uh, still remaining uh, our bar and the billiard room and our main restaurant, the bar, the ballroom, where we are having weddings and all. So those are the uh, remainings of uh, the, the, the first original, building, yes, the original yes, yeah, building. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Uh, yeah. actually, Sir Edward Barnes, you can see if you go to the lobby area, yeah. we have a picture of Sir Edward Barnes. Okay, yes, uh, I will do that. Thank you so yeah. much. That puts everything into perspective. One of the many dining rooms. Some neat signs here. Thé de Ceylon et des Andes. Roger Vu et Compagnie Limited, Glasgow. Les meilleurs thé de Ceylon. Ceylon. Hagenbeck's Ceylon thé. Bremen, Hamburg, Colombo. Ceylon, uh, Ceylon Tea Center. St. Peter's Square. St. Peter's Square, that's in Rome. For the best cup of tea in Manchester. 
This is all about tea and teapots and everything having to do with tea. Look at that view outside and here are more of these neat posters. I love them. They're a Tamil worker picking empire-grown tea. Puna Kandi Selong Tea. That great, never very flavor. Up here, Karl Hagenbeck's Indian Berlin. Kauft Hagenbeck Selong Tea. Kauft means buy in German. And they even have the price. Preisverzeichnis. They have the prices there. Ceylon Tea Company, Planters Association, Candy Ceylon, 1854. I wasn't even born then. One of the finer things in life would be to have a tea here. Look at the tea varieties. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, there must be all varieties of tea. Unbelievable. I thought I couldn't leave here without having a tea, a tea, a tea, a tea, a tea. So I asked this gentleman what he recommends. So these are the two darker teas. So I'll have one of those. Thank you. And uh, there I am enjoying one of those in the incredible environment of the Grand Hotel in Nawara, Elia. A classic, a definitely a classic. Thank you for joining me in my nostalgic trip through this great hotel. I learned a lot in doing this video. I hope you did too. And, uh, well, there's a lot more coming from Nawara Elia. I don't know what, but next Friday we'll have another interesting vlog. Interesting? Well, it's interesting to me.